All right, today we're going to take a look at a nice big novelty knife. And it came in this huge box. And the box measures... <clears throat> that is about 8 inches by right around 4.5 inches. Yeah, 4.5 inches. So whatever's in there is pretty big. And here are the markings on the outside. It says S Tech Giant 12 inch folding assisted cleaver pocket knife, black new. Nothing on the bottom. And the barcode has been inked out. I didn't do that. And you can see where it's made in China. And here is the worst part of this box. <clears throat> It's got that ridiculous, hard to read, but this is the P65 warning from California. So let's take a look at what's in the box. And the first thing we see is this huge, looks like a belt pouch. And it is a belt pouch, it's got a loop there. And it's kind of like ballistic nylon, and it's got Velcro closure. And inside, we find the knife. It's got a little desk in there, inside a nice clean bag. So this is the S-Tech, and that stands for Shadow, Shadow Tech. And it says it's assisted, but it just has the flipper finger flipper and that finger flipper does have some traction notches on it now it does have let's flip it out once comes out pretty nice so it does have traction notches on the thumb ramp they're not bad and more on this part of the scales both scales have it and it does have some way on the back there. And it does have a pocket clip. It's a one-way pocket clip. It's not too stiff. So you could actually attach that to your belt. <clears throat> Three little screws holding that thing in. And you can see it's a frame lock. completely flow through now the scales on this thing are a hundred percent steel let's see if we can get a magnet over here here's a magnet so the scales are steel you can see there's some heavy cutouts on this side and really nothing on that side. Maybe a couple at the bottom there. So this, these scales are pretty slick. They're not G10 or fiberglass or anything fancy. Now the blade, you can see the S-Tec Shadow Tech marking on that side. And on this side, what does it say? It says 440 stainless China. So it's at the very low end of the steel. <clears throat> I'm willing to bet all three pieces of this knife, the two scales and the blade were cut out or stamped out. The same piece of 440 steel. All right, let's take a look at the blade. It's definitely a heavy-duty chopper. And it measures in at... That is... About four... About four and three-quarter inches. And the handle is right around... 
looks at almost seven inches for the handle so that makes the overall length let's see what the overall length is looks like it's right at 12 inches <clears throat> and the weight of this thing is just amazing it is 15.9 ounces so if you can't cut someone with this you should throw it at them folds up really nice there's that flipper action it's not bad but it is definitely a heavy heavy duty So let's do a, a little cut test on this uh, novelty blade. <laughs> so this is just some computer paper. Pretty sharp. 440 steel. That 440 steel will have to be oiled to prevent it from rusting. And let's do a little on some heavier cardboard from the people at Quaker Life, <clears throat> Quaker Cereal, maker of Life, the multigrain cereal. I think this thing could cut cardboard all day. So that is the Shadow Tech 12 inch cleaver. It's definitely one to have fun with, and I'm going to give that just a little cowbell. Knuckle bump. <laughs>